Hey, this is Costa Tube. On this channel I'm talking about fintech, startups and about my journey of combining these two. In this video I would like to tell you how the payments uh, work in the physical world. I mean, when you're tapping a card or let's say when you are inserting a card and entering your PIN into a card machine, how the whole process works. To do this, I want to spy a little bit. Uh, yesterday I've got this uh, tiny small camera and you will see everything that will happen in a supermarket where I'm heading to right now just to show you everything from the very beginning to the very end and then I will like, explain on a scheme how the whole uh, payment flow works. And now we're gonna see the key magic and why we're here. Basically, going for this one. Hold on, let's pause over here for a second. It's because this is the starting point of the whole process I want to show you. Card tapped, processing. Whoa! Just two seconds to authorize the payment, but how many processes have happened behind the scene? Authorized. And I will explain what's just happened. So, what exactly is happening when you are tapping your card on a payment machine? Let me dig deeply and explain it for you. On the whole landscape we have uh, a few actors. Let's say we have here merchant. We have uh, here consumer. We have uh, a card machine for 8 British pounds in merchant's hands and we have uh, a banking card, the contact is one in my particular case, in consumer's hands. As well as I used my American Express card, we have uh, Amex as a payment system. As well, consumer's card linked to consumer's bank account. Bank account. Bank account uh, opened uh, e on an infrastructure of uh, bank issuer. Bank issuer. And the card basically linked to it. On the merchant's point of view, on the merchant side, we have uh, another bank. We call it bank acquirer. As well, there is uh, another tricky thing that this merchant could have their own normal bank account. Bank account and their ordinary bank, for example, it could be uh, HSBC, Lloyds, uh, uh, China Union Bank, any bank. And at their bank acquirer, they have a merchant account. merchant account. This is a totally different account compared to normal bank account. It's because merchant account required to perform and to accept card payments. So let me explain you now how the whole magic happening when a consumer uh, paying at a card machine. Basically as a card introduced at the machine, the machine uh, connects and talk to the bank acquirers processing infrastructure then the infrastructure connects to American Express or Visa or MasterCard then Visa understands which bank issued this particular card the consumer used to pay and then the payment system getting in touch with the bank issuer and the bank issuer checks do I have enough money on my bank account 
to pay for these uh, good or service. This is kind of the whole process. And as soon as the bank issuer checks, yes, I do have eight pounds to purchase this thing, they reply uh, to back to the payment scheme. Uh, yes, the consumer has money. And at this time, money, these eight pounds are frozen on consumer's bank account until the next banking day. Then uh, American Express goes to bank acquirer and uh, says, yes, we have frozen this amount of money on uh, consumer's bank account. And then their infrastructure replies to the machine that yes, the consumer has money to pay and only then on the screen you see that appearance of payment accepted. Let me uh, tell you a little bit more tricky thing about how money moves uh, between your bank account and uh, your merchant bank account. Basically, as you could see on your uh, statement, if you check your mobile banking app daily, you do not, uh, uh, your money don't don't leave your bank account immediately. It's because only during night, during a night, the payment scheme, for example, American Express, they do reconciliation. They count all transactions that happened uh, a day before and they understand which bank uh, issuer uh, should, how much money banks issuers must move to bank acquirers so basically from bank accounts of uh, users monies go to merchant account services and another tricky thing that uh, businesses you pay for your services goods whatever products you are purchasing they don't get your money immediately they get your money let's say next business day but for the majority of businesses they receive your money on the day number three or once a week that's why only uh, when uh, the payment system reconciliated uh, this thing bank acquire let's say every monday settle these uh, amounts to an existing merchant uh, bank account and only then merchants have access to their money. That's how it works.